Hey everybody and welcome to a new player guide for Bob Jenkins. The salesman. He loves selling, he loves items, he loves assets. And he's here to help everyone be the richest or well, item richest they can be. Or he can hoard it all for himself. There's a ton of ways you can take uh, Bob Jenkins with a full collection. However, but with this video... With corset and yeah. the engineer. <laughs> With this video, we are focusing on just the core set. Um, two copies of the core set or one copy. Actually, the revised core set is out. We recommend picking that up as opposed to two copies of the uh, traditional core set. But these uh, decks are built old school with the uh, original core sets in mind. And all the deck guides we're going to do for a very long time will be. Because yes. the, the car, extra cards are also in other cycles. Yeah, probably once we get to the next Investigator expansion and we do the new player guides, then it'll be updated yeah. core. But for the rest of these guys, they will be um, as is. Um, yeah. As well, uh, if you've heard of something called the Taboo List, we recommend not playing with the Taboo List for when you're just starting out in this video. I don't know if there's anything that has Taboo on this, but we're going to be talking as if that doesn't exist. Um, yeah. Bob Jenkins. <laughs> uh, Bob Jenkins is a two brain, four book, three fist, three foot uh, investigator who starts as a survivor and then turns into a rogue. So he can have uh, up to five other level zero rogue cards. And then the rest of his uh, starting deck needs to be survivor cards, level zero. And then when he upgrades, he can go rogue cards one to five, but no survivor cards. His ability is at any time. An investigator location may reveal to you the item assets in their hand, which makes me laugh so much because you could just be like, hey. check this out. Yeah. It's like, nice! <laughs> like, nice. <laughs> I'm proud of you. Uh, however, his relevant ability is you may take an additional action during your turn, which can only be used to play an item asset from the hand of an investigator at your location under their control. Both investigators may spend resources to pay this cost. His Elder Sign effect is plus one for each item asset you control, uh, and then six... Oh, uh, damage, 8 horror on him. His unique is Shrewd Dealings, uh, which uh, two costs commits for two books and a wild. Uh, reduce the cost of each item asset you play by one, and then when you play an item asset as a reaction, you can play it under the control of any investigator at your location. Uh, before we get to discussing his ability in this card in detail, let's just take a quick stop at his personal weakness, which is Greed. Uh, it's a revelation, take one horror. So no matter what, you're taking one horror. If you have ten or fewer resources, you take an additional horror. If you have five or fewer resources, you take one additional horror. And if you have zero resources, you take one additional horror. So... You ever wanted to play an investigator who might be a 6-4? Yeah. <laughs> How, this doesn't really make sense to me. How does it agree if you spent all your money? Because you don't have it, no. Yeah. How is so that greedy? It's, it's greed. He, he, because he, he has to, greed, yeah. if he doesn't have money, then he's affected. So if he has money and he's being greedy, then he's not affected by it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, so what do we think of Bob Jenkins' ability here on his uh, investigator card? It's pretty cool. Yeah, it's cool. Mm -hmm. It's nice because it works very well if it's just solo as well. If there's no one to yeah. you know take yeah. advantage of it, it's just you. Because um, just an action to play an, ass an item asset is an additional action on your turn. And one of the things, especially in the early game, that slows you down is taking the time to play your assets. And now what's also great is that later on in a scenario, when it's becoming a little tight and you need to be more like action efficient, but you draw an asset that you really want to play, now you don't need to sacrifice any of that and you can just play it. Mm -hmm. uh, and this also then works for everyone else too. Like if, you know, you can be like, Bryn can draw like a cigarette case and be like, look at this. And he's like, yeah, man, you can play that. Uh, shrewd dealings, reducing the cost of each item asset you play by one is also just like a huge it's passive a effect. Yeah. 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 And like a, going back to Bob's ability, mm -hmm. really nice use for it is like if you have a sometimes your fighter ends up with a weapon or they have weapon in their hand, but you know they got um it's called crypt child or whatever, yeah. And you can be like I'll go first, and then like we'll play this weapon. <laughs> Even also like if uh, they have an enemy and they lost it, the, yeah. you play the action to get it out there too. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, so they'll take the attack of opportunity. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's sick. Um. The re reaction on shrewd dealings just 
sounds more fun than it is like yeah, good right w- now on initial. I kind of wish they like switched the two abilities, but hmm. I am excited to see what Bryn gives <laughs> us <laughs> when we do when we play with these investigators for the first time. Yeah, uh, and then with greed. Uh, exactly what Bryn said. You could just plan to play a six-four investigator, right, and it's just possible. like spend your money. You or, are playing red. There's lots of options for so. So fair. yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, or you can just hoard your money, and then it's just take one horror, which is a pretty soft weakness. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's almost as, as scary as uh, shell shock. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet. Uh, let's go talk about cards then. Let me just. Yeah, I know. All right, let's talk about the deck, the <laughs> cards that are in the deck. We got Flashlight. Um, this is a two-cost uh, item. We're going to see that a lot here, probably. Uh, as an action, you can spend a supply and investigate a location. Gets minus two shroud for this investigation. Bob has four book, so he's going to be the good pretty one good. he's got. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> he's going to be pretty good at uh, investigating there. Uh, Rabbit's Foot, one cost. After you fail a skill test, exhaust it to draw a card. You kind of have that... um, It's also an item. It's also an item, yeah. Uh, You have that weird thing where your stat line, you have the two in brain because you're a green character, really. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) Your card's painted red, but... Yeah, Yeah, but you get two because you're a red character. Yes, yeah. The being Uh, generous. And then you have, like... You're going to be failing tests, is what I'm trying to say in the nicest way possible. So turning those fails into cards is a good thing. Yeah, why not? Why, why, why not do it? Yeah. Uh, burglary, as an action, you can exhaust it to investigate. If you succeed, instead of discovering clues, gain three resources. Um, and intro- I, I always enjoy Travis's decks on these because there's some choices that are like, you look at them, you say, that's interesting. But this one makes sense because, number one, your book's a good score. Uh, it's not like you're mm-hmm. a lot of green characters where you have, like, three and your life piece is a little bit awkward. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, and you need money to play your cards. And to play other people's cards yeah and then also like there's another thing too that burglary goes up in value when you get like a free action on a turn right because you're essentially getting a free action to play something on your turn which means you can feel less bad about taking that time to investigate for some resources yep scavenging after you successfully investigate by two or more exhaust it choose an item card in your discard pile and add it to your hand items matter for bob in addition, uh, you're going to be investigating. In addition, in addition, burglary is an investigate. So, <laughs> yeah. this also means like any of the cards that, especially the items that have book symbols, you can commit them for gain additional value in this deck. Heck yeah, heck yeah. <laughs> Look, Bob, I'm not trying to be ungrateful here, but I don't want to use the bandages you found in the garbage. <laughs> <laughs> they're they're covered. In yeah, they're already covered. I'll, I'll in just them. wash right out. <laughs> I'm giving you a discount. Yeah, he's like, this, you'll, this you'll, is you'll, the. Deal of a lifetime. If you walk away from here without these bandages, you're going to be <laughs> up. Cover them up. That's how you know they're good. Yeah. Uh, Brent, I'll pass these ones to you. We got look what I found. Uh, with our level zero deck not really having very many options to boost our book, we will likely be failing some of our investigation tests. And uh, look what I found just kind of says that doesn't matter. It's okay. I mean, like, we got red cards. We got flashlight, and we got <laughs> does, <laughs> flashlight does not increase our book score. Whatever. We got flashlight. It, we got flashlight. We look what I found. We got uh, lucky. Look what we I got found. perception. <laughs> we got uh, we got jury rig for our flashlight. <laughs> it's good. I promise. Yes. Yeah, anyway, uh, you don't want to lose tempo when discovering clues. It's how you get like what you get to do against the game. Also, so. if your burglary goes sideways. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know. <laughs> well, I didn't find you anything that's worth money, but that's not that's not yeah. bad actually. Yeah. That's that's fine. Hello. Uh, we got emergency cash because uh, if we're buying items, yeah, we need money. We gotta have money to do it. Yeah. Uh, got lucky because uh, you know it's better than failing tests. Failing bad. Not <laughs> failing tests. That's pretty much it. Yeah. Sometimes you would fail, and instead you get to not fail. And then we got perception, which is one of the like they're there aren't that many choices that we get to make about how to make our book score not four because sometimes the game will be asking us to investigate locations that have you know shroud four or five Mm -hmm. and we got to be able to beat them somehow yeah perception will do that and it does it almost for free all right travis good news you won the lottery 
<laughs> this, did you intentionally put this one on its own page? Yeah, because normally Guts would have been behind yeah, yeah. the ocean. Yeah. Uh, this definitely could have been Unexpected Courage, but I made a conscious decision to put it in here over Unexpected Courage. Because <laughs> it's got to be here. But Guts is good because it gives you two brain symbols, and uh, while all the other games have that, all the other symbols have an innate function within the game, investigating, fighting, and evading, brain does not, so the game has to make it relevant somehow. Um, the way they do this is through making you make brain tests with potential negative effects during the mythos phase, and passing those tests is good, and Guts helps you do that, especially with your, like, not really pathetic, but subpar two brain. Yeah. Is that the levels we have where we have, like, uh, subpar, no, pathetic, subpar is two, three is good. Yes, four. I view most of the green characters as pathetic, yes. <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, we got Sledgehammer. Yeah, baby. So, uh, this one might look a little bit strange here. It's a one of, but it does have a purpose. Number one, the first purpose is you can give it to your fighter if you want to give them an item. Hey, you need a weapon, buddy? Yeah. Um, the other thing is that uh, Bob Jenkins, he has three fight. Yeah. So, three fists. So, that becoming five for two actions is a pretty good number for two damage. So, uh, Bob Jenkins has the old threes for his stats which means he's a really good like you can build him as you want it's a nice generalist yeah so sledgehammer this could be something else depending on what you want but i think it does have a place here bandages uses three supplies if it has no supplies discard it after an investigator or ally asks at your location takes one or more damage spend a supply and heal one damage from that card yeah. it's an item let me tell you about how this is one of the level zero red items in yes <laughs> that were available to this card pool yeah uh, Schaffner's Catalog, uh, if it has no secrets on it, discard it. You may spend secrets on Schaffner's Catalog as resources to pay for item assets played by an investigator, any investigator location. Um, this is great because it's money. It also has an additional use, which is it's an alternative to spending resources if you have not drawn a greed yet, but you still want to play item assets. You you know the rules, Russ. You're bad. You have to go. So be good. And get you know off the, the rules, and so do I. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> uh, and then we got Hit Me Fast. Play after you reveal a Chaos Token during a skill test. Reveal an additional Chaos Token, switching it to a uh, switching its minus to a positive. If that token is a skull. skull token, you automatically fail. Um, these ones, the Hit Me and the Twenty One are bust. Uh, I think the Twenty One are bust especially. Normally, we don't like to give like outside of cycle uh, recommendations, but the Twenty One are bust, which we're going to get to here. That could be a Faustian bargain, no problem. And that would that be, should be a Faustian yeah. bargain. <laughs> yeah, that would be a very easy switch. Travis, why don't you take these ones? Sure. Uh, 21 or Bust is like the level 0 economy option uh, available to us in green, mostly because, of course, that green cards kind of suck. Um, but And that's not just me being biased against them. <laughs> so 21 or Bust, you just play Blackjack, and then you get some money for it if you do good. Um, I'm not going to read the entire card, but like you play Blackjack. <laughs> Uh, next up we got Jury Rig. This you can stick on item asset controlled by the Vesker location. As a lightning bolt during the skill test on the attached asset, you spend one of the three durability to get plus two value of the skill test. This is nice for your flashlight and your sledgehammer to like do things. Um, you know, you can also just, this is very much like a support deck. You can play this to uh, your fighter's weapon or whatever. Yeah. And just give them plus two for three tests. It's a nice thing to have. And then we got uh, Singleton Scud Ahead. Um, this could really be, this could be a lot of different green cards. I chose this one because I think it is one of the better ones uh, available to you at level zero green, and is also one of the new ones. Yep. Um, but you know, if you're pairing up with like someone who was playing Mari Jack, they're probably gonna want this one. So play like a different green card or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Or even just not expect courage, but one money to move three times is pretty sweet. Catch up to your teammates or whatever, yeah. and then it also commits for two feet to bump you up to five for a nice evasion test. Thank you. Just a solid card. All right, Brian, why don't you talk about these core experience <laughs> cards for considerations right. for upgrading? We got upgraded Leo DeLuca. Large, this one's largely any good here because um, we only get five level zero green cards. Um, Notice there's so, not actually any allies there either. Yeah. Um, In the, the base deck. This guy's five <coughs> money. You get to take an extra action every turn. Um, 33% more turn per turn. Guaranteed. Hey. He's just stretching. 
Nice. Um, yeah, he soak he soaks two and two, but realistically, that's one and one because you don't actually want your five costed ally to die for nothing. Yeah. Um, <laughs> right. Ooh, you know. I don't know about this. I should yeah. just have Leo soak this. Um, we got sure gamble. Sometimes the game's like minus five, and you're like, no, nah, man. Plus, Plus five. five. Yeah. Um, God's just good. It's like uh, it's like getting to play with more luckies, but different. Mm -hmm. um, with Sure Gamble, you can often attempt tests that you shouldn't actually be able to pass at all, and just hope that the game's going to give you a big, a big modifier. Uh, yeah. the also harder, plays into the gambling thing we yeah, got here. Yeah. yeah. The harder that the uh, the chaos bag you're playing with is, the better this card gets. Uh, we got Hot Streak. It, sure. It, Costs four XP to put in your deck, but three money for ten money, ten money almost on its own gets you past all of your greed problems by yep. cheating at cards. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Thank no God problem. for this money. Yeah. And then we got a bulletproof vest, just in case you, know, you get some disgruntled vacuum yeah. customers. Yeah. I mean, it's more you give to your teammates, but. No, no. This is this is for you. <laughs> they're all okay. they're all for you. <laughs> okay, bud. But yeah, four, four Meat Soak is a pretty real number. And yeah. uh, I guess you don't really have to wear it yourself, but like you could. Mm -hmm. You could. Yeah. Elder Sign Amulet, four Horror Soak. You could wear this one, and you should, if you're just going to like, you know, you need a button to press for your greed. Yeah, exactly. It just, yeah. it just soaks it. Yeah, it's like greed come, like the greed, uh, greed's getting me, but you know what? <laughs> Hypnos exists. That makes me feel okay. Yeah. 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 Hypnos is a cool guy, man. He's a Except cool guy. when he's not. Yeah. Yeah, but then you're probably not a cool guy. Maybe. 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 All right. Uh, ex Edge of the Earth experience cards. We got counter espionage. So two this costs. Card is sweet. Yeah, this it is very cool. Fast play when you draw a non-weakness treachery. Cancel that card's revelation effect and draw the top card of the encounter deck. As a reaction, when you play it, you can increase its cost by two to change the encounter deck to your deck. And as a reaction, when you play counter espionage, increase its cost by two, change you to any investigator. So because you're green, essentially, and your brain's low, you're probably going to more often than not <laughs> do this as pay four to cancel a card and draw the top card of your deck. Yep. Yeah, I mean, sometimes ancient evils into a different card you know mm -hmm. literally so, anything yeah else. like actually anything yeah the game's like here's second ancient evils and you're like fine yeah <laughs> you got me you but, got me this time but like we're not drawing another one out of this pile yeah yeah um yeah it's just a cool card and you're gonna have money more often than not especially with this deck um money is gonna just be a thing you have uh, and as you upgrade so yeah Cheat the system. Zero cost, one experience, fast, play during any lightning bolt window. Gain one resource for each different class among cards you control. So at its base, um, this is... At the base, it's if you have no other assets in play, it's a zero, gain one. Because your investigator card counts as a card you control. However, you probably don't want to do that. I recommend against it. Uh, so if you have your burglary in play, for example, this is now zero, gain two, which is still, uh, it's fast though, so like now it's about on par mm. with an emergency cash. Uh, and then if you have your sledgehammer and your burglary in play, because that has a guardian symbol, it's now zero, gain three. Yeah, this one's all really, you should be looking at like hot streak for your economy, if unless you're gonna be playing a bunch of the multicolor cards mm -hmm. for your upgrades first. Yeah. If you just want the money, Hot Streak's probably better, but this one is a better choice if you're going to be dipping into a lot of the other Edge of the Earth experience cards. Yeah. Uh, untimely transaction, zero cost, <laughs> one experience. Reveal an item asset in your hand. Another investigator location may play that asset as if it were in their hand. If they do, draw one card and gain resources equal to that asset's printed cost. I would you <laughs> like the sledgehammer? <laughs> no. Fuck! Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Um, okay. <laughs> this is one that definitely is kind of like it's here Shit. not for just a limited collection. Mm -hmm. Like this one gets better. It's also pretty janky, <laughs> yeah. um, but you know there is a home oh, yeah. for jank, uh, and that yeah. home is probably Bryn trying to sell us pile. things. In. Look, kid, can I can I interest you in a watch? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. I buy the gold pocket watch. Yeah, like home. I'm not I'm not playing it myself. No, I got a bear necklace. <laughs> 
Uh, then we got Savant. Savant gains wild icons equal to your lowest uh, to your lowest skill other than the skill being tested. So that means if it's on a brain test, this commits for four brain. Yep. It's pretty yeah. good. Yeah, and on other tests, it commits for three. If we're being real, this is mostly a four brain card. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. No, but it's also three of other things. Yeah, you sometimes. You want to trigger your scavenging for sure or whatever. Yeah. You really need to crush that guy with your sledgehammer. <laughs> Die, I'm a savant at this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, it's... Uh, I mean, one experience for three wild is, yeah. like, fine. I think it's gonna... This is a card that you'll see in a lot of uh, rogues, because now, it's a like... great filler card. You freaking, like, uh, with... Yeah, just four brain, you're now testing five? Or, like... I'm, I'm, sorry, in my head, I'm dreaming of Finn Edwards. I should really have said that. Like, you know, it's gonna be just a good card all around. <laughs> Brian, why don't you talk about the red clock? Oh, the red it's clock. This is like a watch, only it sits on a table <laughs> until it's time. Uh, yeah, so this one it's is... It's also red instead of gold. Yeah, that's yeah, true. I'd buy it's this from you. Was. I'd buy this from you if you tried to sell it to me. Uh, I might. I'd, pro I'd buy the level 5 one for sure. Level oh, yeah. One, I don't Man, know. I'm, not selling, I'm not selling 10 XP worth of card for two money. Are you crazy? <laughs> why, are you, why are you playing a timely transaction if you're not selling us the red clock? <laughs> I don't want your goods. <laughs> anyway, this one commits for a wild, but really don't. Um, it's exceptional, so it's ac it actually costs four. Uh, and you're only allowed one in your deck. It has uses, zero charges, forced. After your turn begins, either place one charge here or take all the charges here as resources. Then, if it has exactly one charge, you get plus three skill value to the next skill test, which is, yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, two charges, you may move up to two times. Again, pretty cool. And three charges, you may take an additional action this turn, just to do whatever you want, at all. And then, I mean, you know, the fourth turn, you got to take all the money because it doesn't do anything anymore. <laughs> this damn clock's full of gold. Yeah, like you get three money. Yeah. So that's not so bad. And then we got the the red clock, which this one is five XP and exceptional, so it costs you ten which is kind of a lot. But forced after your turn begins, you may take all charges here as resources. Place one charge here. If it has exactly one charge, you get plus four skill value to your next skill test. So you can actually just use this as a perpetual plus four to the first thing you do. Gain an extra money every is that time if you'd like. Um, That's a I good mean, like, question. It, de it depends. Did you find it on turn one? Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. It also gives um, you a resource each turn. Yeah, yeah, right, like you get an extra resource every turn, too. Okay. Yeah. Uh, two charges, you can move up to three times. Three is kind of an absurd number of yeah. times, <laughs> honestly. Yeah, that, um, no, that's just the awkward stepping yeah. point to three charge over there. Yeah, uh, yeah, like I can see myself using this a lot to like move from the location I'm on to the adjacent one that I want to go to back and then to the location that I wanted to go like, to yeah, in the first place. Thank you. Because I'm allowed to. <laughs> uh, but still, like, pretty close to equally as powerful as the level 2 version. And then the 3 charges is you may take 2 additional actions this turn, which is actually a 100% increase of what, on what the, uh, yep. the level 2 one, or the level 2. Yeah. It's technically 4, but... This might be a controversial you know. opinion for a card that, you know, <laughs> is exceptional, cost 10 XP, but those are pretty good effects. <laughs> I think I think it might be pretty good. Yeah, I think the, it might be good. The, the only issue here is, like, 10 XP is a lot, man. Yeah, you could be, like, I mean, not if this is exactly it's a question, a lot. but you could be buying keys yeah. with that. Yeah, this, this one does commit for double wild, but, like, really don't. What do you do Like, with really man? don't. And, I mean, like, it also still, like, it does cost 10, but you also could do it in... Um, Layaway, like you can buy yeah, the four yeah, experience you, one, you and the next the one's four, only six, and then it's a six cost, which is still a lot of experience, but it's easier than like saving up for something that like just buys buys outright at ten. It is far more manageable. It's a lot of experience for a broken clock. Yeah, <laughs> and then we got this, but it's reliable. <laughs> yeah, because it never moves. I yeah. this is my clock. It always says at seven p.m. I also so it doesn't work. Yeah, it's but, yeah, seven it's p.m. Reliable. It's only 7 p.m. No, no. <laughs> I also know what our next joke run needs to be uh, in, in the vein of Oops All Lolas. It's Oops All Bobs, and we can only buy stuff to play assets. We can't play our own assets. You can only play at, pay for other people's assets. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. How many knives am I allowed That to sounds play? fun. Uh, Black Market is a one-cost, two-experience fast. Play at the start of the investigation phase one at a time. Reveal cards on the top of any investigator's deck until exactly five cards have been revealed. <laughs> set those cards aside out of play. While well, set aside, any investigator may play any of those cards as if they were in their hand. 
At the start of the next investig investigation phase, shovel each of those cards still set aside into its owner's deck. I love the art. Of this this guy's so this guy. creepy. <laughs> Matt, you could use this as a balancing card for the uh, the pendant of the queen. You just buy one of their one of their <laughs> segments of Black Onyx, just like nah, I don't want the rest. I'm good. You know, like there's like no. a lot of people will look at this as like the the jokey side of it, but if we actually like look at like also yeah. kind of what it does, it essentially gives everybody five more yeah options in the turn. Is right? not entirely different to one fast draw five. Yeah. Um, admittedly, the five might be bad, but that's your fault. Yeah. Uh, I don't think like the cards like particularly gangbusters, but I do think it has some variety outside of just yeah. like Ooh, this is fun. I think no, th it's like a really strong for the support Bob builds. I think where you play it and then they flip their cards and you just buy cards for people <laughs> and then they get to play their turns with the cards you paid for. Yeah. Because even yeah. like even like you're um, giving your mystic like say you draw like a. Read the signs, yeah. right? And they can just now play it during yeah. their turn, yeah. right? Because they can play it as though it's in their hand, yeah. but then you can have an extra action to play cards <laughs> that are in their hand. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. No, I, I think it's... <laughs> I saw you reading that. <laughs> like, Does that work? Uh, I was reading to see if you could commit skills. Oh. But I don't believe you can. No, you can't play them. So, you know... Don't do that. Yeah, that's sad. <laughs> You're like cheating. Yeah. That's sad. Leave your leave the cheat into the professionals. Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll we'll do that at yeah, least. Yeah, we'll once. we'll make the mistakes yeah. for you. Yeah. We're good at it. Then we got Moxie um, level three. Oh, here's yeah. Sorry, I, I think this yeah. card uh, like this card is probably never Mulligan for me. Hmm. Oh because, yeah. Because like if my hand is bad, it's, it's cool. It's probably turn. not now. Yeah. It is like a very expensive uh, prepared to the worst or backpack. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it also works for anyone. Yep. So like if my if my Mulligan turned out okay. That was nice because then even like yeah, I can nah, be like, does anyone play, need? Does yeah. anyone missing anything? Because yeah. you're for sale. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just play this uh, this creepy dude. Yeah. Like, hey, you want to buy a college kid? Yeah, <laughs> a college kid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and your guy who's playing cowboys just like. Bro, what the fuck? <laughs> 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 I need that. Yeah, we got Moxie level three. Commits for uh, brain, brain, foot, foot. Uh, you get plus one brain and plus one foot. Non-direct damage and or horror must be assigned to Moxie before it can be assigned to your investigator card. You can spend a resource to get plus one brain or plus one foot for the skill test. It's a lot of soak for zero. It is a lot of soak for zero and fast. Um, and it's... it you're going to have money. Stats. Yeah, you're going to have money. Defense, sweet. Defends it. Sweet. Easy. The Black Fan. What the frick this is this do again? Sick. Three cost, three experience, exceptional. Lots of, lots of resources. Yeah, so there we go. Well, you have 10 or more resources, you get plus one health and plus one sanity. You get 15 or more resources, you may take one additional action during your turn. 20 plus resources, you get plus one to each of your skills. Hey, Justin, it's the inverse Dark Horse. Oh, it's my it's my enemy. My, the the anti-card. Yeah. Yeah. I can never play this. <laughs> yeah, this, this, this card is pretty much just like... I can't even... Dario El Amin. Yeah. Eat your heart out. I mean, this also costs six experience. Yeah. And? <laughs> Dude, I love me. He's a zero experience guy. Yeah, he's worth zero XP, though. This, yeah, no, he, I would more. take experience to put in my deck. Like, the game gives me experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, if, if, he, if he could cost negative X XP, yeah, like, yeah. all right, sure, I'd start playing with that card again. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it, this, this might sound obvious, but yeah, you don't play this unless you're planning on being big money. <laughs> also, like, don't commit it. Ever. I mean, like, there's there are situations where you might commit this one where you're just la, 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 la. <laughs> not gonna have resources realistically. Man, but it's the end of the game. You're like true, hunted yeah. down by a beast of Aldebaran. You're like, I really need to get away from this guy. Maybe your weakness <laughs> I have, like, three is resources. Your like, weakness is the one that gets rid of all your resources, and you're like, I just drew this black fan. Yeah. Um. But can you imagine just like, oh, thank God, I drew this six experience uh, perception right now. <laughs> thank God. <laughs> Uh, unscrupulous loan, zero cost, three experience. After you play it, gain ten resources. When the game ends, if, or if you eliminate it, if you have fewer than ten resources in your resource pool, exile unscrupulous loan. 
It's exactly the kind of <laughs> loan that Bob <laughs> Jenkins would. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Sign. Hello, Mr. Jenkins. What do you need this loan for? I need a small loan to start up a vacuum sales business. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to the vacuum sales business you started last week? I ran out of vacuums. <laughs> <laughs> I ran out of money. <laughs> uh, so I'm here again. This is obviously great because it like is your greed button. You can just put this in here and like be like, now I don't need to worry about greed. Um, you can spend the resources. Uh, it's a little bit awkward that like some other people who actually are survivors don't have this problem where if you do yeah. exile it, you are probably <laughs> spending your resources, your experience on other things, right? Oh, so it's right. harder to warrant putting it back in if it was exiled. Yeah, but it's, it works really good. It's just like a, a juice me up button for yes. the big money decks, so right? juice me, squeeze me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You got your yeah. black fan you play, and you're like, I don't want to be below 10 resources anyway, so. Yep. No, exactly, yeah, yeah. Yep, I'm excited to play with it just because it's just <laughs> it's just free money. It's just, it's just free, money. free money. Yeah, yeah there, there is an entire green archetype about just having a buttload of money. Just drag And this is drag. like, you expect me to not have 10? Man, if I don't have 30 at the end of this scenario. Yeah. <laughs> so sick. Uh, Precious Memento, uh, I'm going to just have you, I'm going to read one of them and then just flip it. Uh, so it's a three uh, damage, three horror soak, takes up the accessory slot, four experience, three cost, commits for two wild. Uh, as a reaction, after you fail a skill test by two or more, exhaust Precious Memento, heal one damage from it. After you succeed a skill test by two or more, exhaust it to heal one horror, flipping to fail by two, heal a horror, succeed by two, heal one damage, and you can only have one of them in your deck of these, the title. These cards I would sell for three money. Yeah. Yeah. I buy them. I buy them. They're no. not broken. Yeah. They're, not, they're not busted as frick, but like, man is not dying better than dying. Yeah, yeah. you could play one and you can have someone else play one and you can get them both with the black market. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sick. The old shotgun. <laughs> Uh, zero cost, two experience, <laughs> uses zero ammo. I'll play an event, treat old good old shotguns, uses value is two. As an action, you can spend one ammo, fight, you get plus three fist for this attack. Instead of its standard damage, the, this attack damage is equal to the amount you succeed or fail by. If you fail, it would have done damage to another investigator to a minimum of one to a maximum of three. Guess what? You can play this with to get ammo. Black market. Oh, yeah. shit. Also, the other <laughs> one where you're like, you sell a card in your hand to someone, you're like, hey, yeah. you want to buy this shotgun for nothing? <laughs> yeah. yeah. It yeah. has bullets in it. They're like, yes. Well, you can't. <laughs> well, Instead, you can buy this leather coat. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, and even like you you, uh, you give it to someone who like isn't using their hand mm -hmm. slots, but only has like three fight. Now they have six. And like, they you know, just succeed, shoot. though. Yeah, you, oh, yeah. You, like it, it wants you to succeed by a bunch. Yeah. It, does, it is definitely a thing where, you know, if you show up and you're like, hey, Roland, you want to buy a shotgun? <laughs> He's not saying no. He's a, he'll ask you his license, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like you're just, like, look, it's around the shop somewhere. Look, I'll, really, I'll dig it up. I'll yeah. dig it up. It's really old, man. <laughs> um, we got Antiquary. Uh, three cost, uh, and also craft over here, they're, they're kind of the same thing. Three cost, three experience, uses two resources, replenish them at the start of each round. Uh, Resources on Antiquary may be spent to pay for Favor, Relic, or Ritual, and during a skill test on a Favor, Relic, or Ritual card, you can spend a resource to get plus one skill value for this test. A crafty is Insight, Tool, and Trick. I think, as always, you'll know when your deck wants these, depending on your quantity of those cards in your deck. Mm -hmm. They're really nice for, like, the Black Fan archetype, the big money one, where you can put one of these in play and use it to, like, still get used to your ability to play things yep. while maintaining your high mm -hmm. resource count. Heck yeah. Uh, last one here, we got Janae Beauregard. She is the Intrepid Explorer. Five cost, three experience. You get plus one book, relevant, and plus one foot. Not bad. During, a, uh, tur during your turn, after you move to a location, exhaust her, move a clue or a non elite enemy from a connecting location to your location, or vice versa. Yeah, this is the ally for if you want to like do something. Yeah, <laughs> if you want to <laughs> contribute. <laughs> uh, yeah. She's very strong. She's very good. I think this one works no matter which sort of Bob deck you're playing. Mm -hmm. Really, like, if you're going to deal with enemies, you're just sort of like, get over here. Yeah. I mean, um, like, if you're, if you're actually doing something, yeah. yes. Yeah. But not if you're, like, the I buy things for you, Bob, or I get yeah. money and I sit yeah. on Bob. Uh, you if you get money and sit on it, she can still do dude. things. Yeah, she costs five. That's okay. You get money. <laughs> yeah, but I took out an unscrupulous <laughs> loan to more, buy don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> um, Yeah, you play, you play your... Uh, you play your... <laughs> black market, like, hey, you want to buy an explorer? <laughs> 
Uh, yes. Uh, but Janelle also works really, there's some like lots of tricks you can do. Like you can mm -hmm. move to a location with an enemy and then sh throw that enemy back to your goon who's just like at the previous location. Mm -hmm. She's just strong. She's very strong. She costs a lot, but she's good. And then we finally got, speaking of good, Eon Chart. So we have the level one version that costs two. During your turn, you can exhaust it and spend a secret. Choose and take one of the following actions, move, evade, or investigate. Uh, and then the upgraded one, level four, is during your turn, exhaust Eon Chart and spend a secret. Choose and take two of the following actions in any order, move, evade, or investigate. Jury is still out on if they have to be different or the same because people are reading it both ways. Uh, so hopefully we get some official confirmation on that soon. Yeah, I, w I would think you'd have to take two different ones. I also read it as two Because it says you can, you can take two of the following actions, not, yeah. not you know, yeah. one of them twice. It doesn't, yeah. nowhere does it say you could take one of them twice. It says you may take two of the following. So you presumably have to actually pick two. Of yeah, them. and I, I agree with that, but I also... Yeah, they probably have a line about it, like in a combination or something like that. Mm -hmm. If yeah. it was different. Yeah. Yeah, like if they wanted you to be able to take the same one twice, you would probably know. Mm -hmm. So I imagine we will get something eventually, but I, I, I agree with all the sentiment here, and I think that's the way you should also play it at home, probably because that's the way it's going to end up playing once, uh, once we get official confirmation. But strong uh, card. Who knows? Sometimes the designers are just like, it works this way because. Yep. Because I feel like it, be yeah. or because we meant it to and we just worded it strange. Yeah. All kinds of things. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good card. <laughs> that's, that's yeah, just, it just, just seems strong, yeah, man. There, if you try to sell this to one of your teammates and they don't want it, oh my God. they're playing blue. <laughs> <laughs> they're fighting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're both, they Why fighting. would you sell this to me? And you're like, I because don't know. Because it's a literal <laughs> eon chart. It's the chart of the stars and time itself. Mm hmm. But even even then, like you still just get to move for free three times. Yep. Come on, bud. Just give me the two money. <laughs> That's Bob. Man, I can't wait to when we can play him and just Me? all the dumb jokes we make while it's happening. Yeah. yeah. He seems like fun. Yeah. So that is uh, almost it for the new player guides. We have none other than Mr. Norman Withers <laughs> coming up next week. Yeah. Good old poor Norman. Norman. I always Save forget him about last. him. Always forget about him. How could you? He's Norman Withers. He's I, the Wizard of Extraordinary. It's, it's because he's existed for so long that he's not of this expansion to me. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, but, so, get ready for that. We'll be talking about him next week. And I just want to do a big thank you to everybody who's watching and all of our patrons for supporting the channel. We appreciate the support. Thank you for being you. If you want to join the channel, you can subscribe. You can like, you can comment, or you can become a patron. All are viable options to ensure that we can keep making awesome Arkham Horror content and continuing to grow in the process. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. And as always, GG's.